the new but not new but new to me Maybelline Superstay Matte Full Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. Is that the name of it? Yeah. That's a long name. But anyways, the foundation, just keep on watching and we're going to go ahead and get right into the video. Better not break. This thing is glass. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a first impressions try on and where it says on the new but not new but new to me Maybelline Superstay Matte Full Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. We did, as you're going to see in the video, I tried on the foundation. I did a bit of a comparison. These are my dried swatches in the video. And we're also going to do a check-in and wear test of how the foundation holds up on my combo to oily sin since it is supposed to be a matte 24-hour foundation. No, we're not leaving this on for 24 hours because who? I do like the aesthetic of the foundation. Not in love with the white top. It is a, as you can hear, a glass bottle. It does remind me a lot of the Fenty Foundation by Rihanna as far as the white top. And as you can see, it's dirty because of the white top. So, and I don't even know where the actual top top of this is to see my thoughts on the foundation and how it holds up just keep on watching don't forget to like comment subscribe and share and we're gonna just go ahead and get right into the video hi guys welcome back but as you may have seen by the intro already by now we're going to do a first impressions try on and wear test of the new maybelline superstay matte full coverage foundation and don't mind the way that i'm talking i just have my rubber bands in. And I got mine in the color 356 Warm Coconut. I ordered it online from Ulta. I believe it cost $11.99. I also picked up the Maybelline sponge as well. So we could do a half and half. Half with a brush and half with the sponge to see which way is better to apply. Even though for most foundations I apply it with a sponge. But we're just going to see how good this sponge is. We usually use the L'Oreal sponge or a beauty blender like this one that is very dirty. We already did our eyes. Not gonna do any finicking, nothing, no half and half, no primer because I got places to go. Okay, I gotta leave the house today. Okay, so we're not we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna go in with my favorite primer combination. First we're gonna go in with the Milani one, then the hourglass, and then spray down our face with MAC. Now, we're going to read some claims about the foundation. Why you'll love what it is. The Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Foundation delivers 24-hour wear for concentrated coverage and a flawless finish that does not fade or shift all day. The benefits. Be your own professional makeup. Oil-free, does not clog pores, dermatologist tested. Okay, it, it better not clog my pores because I already had an issue with one of my last Maybelline foundations, <coughs> Dream Matte Mousse, that clogged my pores and broke me out. And negative, that, that's a negative. And I have to throw that in the trash. But every other Maybelline foundation I have loved. So we're just going to do a little swatch test and we're going to compare it to my other Maybelline foundation, which is 355 Coconut. A little pump. And we're testing it against the Fenty foundation since that's my perfect color match in any foundation ever. By the way, if I haven't said it, I am combination skin. I'm normal all around, sometimes pretty dry and just a tad bit oily in our T-zone. Take the Fenty foundation in 430. Going to also swatch... 355 coconut in the fit me foundation which i don't have a pump for which sucks but whatever i have warm coconut on the top fenty in the middle and fit me on the bottom so looking not too bad not too bad fenty's looking a little bit darker while it dries which we all know but don't mind this this is my concealer 
but you know now we're just going to go and wet this sponge and we'll be right back okay now we're back and then this is the sponge after wetting it and as you can see it used to fit in this box and now it's bigger than the box sponge after wetting it it's pretty mushy it reminds me of the l'oreal sponge not as soft and squishy as the beauty blender but it's nice we're going to use our morphe e6 on this side of our face which is my left and we're going to use the sponge on my right side and if it flips that's your left side we're just going to start off with a pump of foundation what's that just apply it and we're going to start with the brush side first now we're just going to go in with colors looking nice and if for anybody that's new to my channel, I always match my foundation to my chest and not my neck because my neck is darker. So I just bring it down about halfway because right here around my neck is the darkest. So I just bring it down to about right here. And that's how I blend my foundation. So this is how we're looking. foundation on this side no foundation and then you as you can see I have a lot of hyperpigmentation on my face I would say I have pretty much I got pretty much full coverage with the brush side and the color is running a tad bit orange but that's usually how it is with my Maybelline foundations. That's why I usually have to mix. You know, 55 is good for me in the winter time, but I usually have to mix to get the good undertone because I'm a slightly neutral undertone. But now we're going to go in with another pump. We're going to go in with the sponge and blend this out. And I am using the flat side to blend it. And the found the it barely soaks up the foundation. It is a little bit more firm on the face, but so far. I can say that I'm getting pretty much the same coverage. With both sides I'm getting a little bit more coverage with the brush but the sponge is giving me more of a matte look this one still haven't dried down yet I believe yep it's still tacky feeling so I'm getting a bit more matteness with the sponge which is not normal because usually your face will be more dewy with the sponge because of the moisture but my face is looking a little bit more matte on the sponge side and this is having time to dry and it hasn't fully dried down yet the color is in real life on camera it's not looking as bad but in real life it is running pretty orange on me it might be the color that I chose um and I could have just lightened it up but yes it's my color but it's just running a tad bit orange on me which it's not bad most of my foundations run orange on me but we're gonna see if the color calms down a little bit and we're just going to use this side for concealer and we're just going to do our we're just gonna see how it works to blend our concealer and we're just going in with the Tarte Shade Tape in the color Tan Sand And yes, this is my color. And we're just going to go in and blend out the middle of our face like we always do and kind of let the under eyes sit for a little bit.
And right now it is 9.16. So we're just going to call the check-in time 9.15 because that's when, before I put it on the concealer. So we're just going to call it 9.15. Now we're just going to blend out the under eye with this point right here. Oh, that's gorgeous. That's, that's super pretty. That is super pretty. I would say I like this sponge for blending out the under eye. You would think this is, at first it felt a little weird, but the fact that it's curved and cuffed right here, it fits right into this cheekbone underneath your eyes perfectly. Now we're just going to go off camera and finish up our face and We'll be right back for some quick thoughts. All right, guys. So this is my face completed. And if you guys are wondering what's on my lips, it's the MAC and Taraji collaboration, the copper lipstick with the lip gloss. And I put a little bit of the Becca Champagne Dream Flashes Bellini in the middle. As I use the Tarte Clay Play Face palette and for my lid this color right here from the morphe 35r palette as my lid topper it's so pretty did i go a little heavy-handed on blush maybe my lashes are the ilua shining star lashes and as far as the foundation you can't really tell the difference between the brush side and the sponge side. Remember, my left is the brush side and this side was the sponge side. You can't really tell a difference. They honestly look exactly the same. Um, blush, bronzer, and highlight blended beautifully on top. The blush is the e.l.f. blush palette in dark and sh sh Honey boo, honey. That crap is pigmented. Did I go a little heavy handed on it? Yes, but I'm dark. It's going to fade by the end of the day and it's going to be gone as you can see by my check-ins. And the highlight is Becca Prosecco Pop. Right now it's 9.45. And remember the check-in time was 9.15. So we're going to check back in twice in between the day and at the end of the night to see how this foundation holds up. And we'll leave my final thoughts for the end of the video. Guys, we're currently at the five hour mark and you're just gonna have to take my word for it. It is 2.19 right now because I'm using my phone to record it because I don't have a vlog camera or portable camera that I can take with me. Um, we put the foundation on at 9.15. That was our first check-in time. So it has been a little bit over five hours. And I can say I'm very oily above my lip area which i don't get with any of my foundations like the fenty foundation is a mattifying foundation like the maybelline claims to be so i'm good with putting a mattifying primer in my t-zone setting my t-zone with the translucent powder and then just setting the rest of my face with my sephora micro tool powder which is what i did with this foundation because the foundation did claim to be a 24 hour super stay matte long wear foundation so i'm getting pretty oily in this center area right here but for the most part the rest of my face is looking pretty good my gloss is completely gone because it's a gloss and i did eat and my blush and bronzer are currently fading that's nothing new but one good thing i can say about this foundation i'm not getting any smile lines which i get smile lines almost every single foundation that i wear and the only foundation that doesn't cause smile lines that are too bad is the l'oreal pro glow foundation but i still get a little bit of creasing with that but this one i have nothing at all which is that's that's miraculous for me to be honest with you 
but I can one thing that I can't point out it's breaking down on my chin area I don't think you guys can see that but we're gonna zoom in at the end of the day but it's breaking down and doing weird things on my chin which I do not like so that's where we are at at the five hour mark pretty oily in the center breaking down on our chin and the rest of the face looking pretty good I will see you guys at the end of the night you guys we're doing the final check-in of the day and as you can see we are pretty oily it is currently 6 47 and I put the foundation on at 9 15 that means the foundation has been on for nine and a half hours and I have not checked my face since the last check-in and I was actually shocked to see my face <laughs> in the mirror and I did rip off the lashes and wipe off the lips as soon as I got in the house and since the last check-in doing is laying down in the house I have not been doing no heat activities no nothing so this is pretty disappointing for a foundation that claims to be matte and super stay so um, what I can try differently next time instead of lightly setting it I'm going to have to go in and heavily set it with a powder like a powder foundation powder instead of lightly setting it the way that I do with my Fenty foundation like like I said I only set it with my Sephora micro smooth powder and I set my face with a translucent powder in the middle and I am super oily as you can see I am super oily even in my forehead but the rest of my face once again is pretty normal but my t-zone is super oily um i still have my blush and my bronzer which is good so it hasn't really slipped off and yep basically the final verdict is this foundation is not good for someone with super oily skin because i don't even have oily skin like that and this is what happens so i recommend you just save your 12 dollars and just go get a fenty foundation or the L'Oreal Pro Matte if you can find your color because that keeps me matte, honey. Or even the Milani 2-in-1 Conceal and Perfect. Those two are pretty matte foundations from the drugstore. The new formula, because I know it's a newer formula from Maybelline, does not hold up on me and I'm combo to normal to dry so I can imagine for someone that's oily all around as you can see only in my t-zones I'm super oily everywhere else I'm pretty good and normal as far as it breaking down as my oils protruded through all of that went away and all I can see is just my face just being super oily but that's all that I have for you guys thank you guys for watching and I'm gonna go wipe this makeup walk. it looks like you can fry an egg as well as a whole tub of chicken on my face thank you guys for watching and thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoy and i'll see you guys in the next one very very soon bye y'all not gonna make fun of my nails this is so tragic <laughs> look at this <laughs> that is tragic relax and thank you guys for watching This is so cute. Girl, you went heavy handed on that blush. You need to chill. Hi. And thank you guys for watching. Oh, <clears throat> My throat is dry.